There he is. Hey, Clay, how are you? Senator, good to see you. Nice to see you. Nice, to, nice morning to do this. Hi, I'm Mark. Hi. We've met before, Mark. Very nice to see you. Yes, hi. How are you doing? Pat Leahy is a classic Washington figure. He's been United States Senator longer than any other right now, but most people don't know him. Oh my God. <laughs> That's in college. That's like right out of Mad Men. <laughs> 55 years of marriage this summer. There's a Supreme Court nomination hearing starting this morning, but he's making a little time in his schedule, hang out with his wife around the tidal basin. A light was better. Taking some photographs, then I'll go do the hearings. Senator Leahy is a skilled photographer. His work has appeared in uh, national publications. I was born blind in one eye. In photography, you only need one eye. My view is the only bad photograph is the one you failed to take. What adjectives would you use to describe how you feel about today? Anxious that I do it right. I, I think of the Senate as a place that should be the conscience of the nation. And in times it has been, but we're getting away from that. I think it's become partisan for the sake of being partisan. Uh, I've never seen the country so divided. What is it about where you are in your life at this point that you can do this on the morning of a big confirmation hearing? You should have seen me this weekend. I have been cramming and actually in a way Coming here just for the hearing is a nice way to remember there's a world out here, too. Senator Leahy, what's the most important thing that you want to hear from Gorsuch? I want to make sure that he's independent. What about your support for him? Are you inclined to support for him? He even had the hearing yet. Every Supreme Court nomination hearing I've ever covered, it's big. It seems historic, it seems pressure-filled, it seems intense. I want to see if it's like that today. Judge, welcome to the Senate Judiciary Committee. Judge Gorsuch, I can honestly say I've yet to decide how I'm going to vote in this nomination. It's important to know whether you serve with independence or as a surrogate to the president who nominates you. If confirmed, you have to be a justice for all Americans, not for the special interests of a few. You know, I can't think of any time in our nation's history when that commitment is more important than it is now. I'm sure in Vermont, liberals who support Leahy would like him to really go to the mat to try to stop Gorsuch. Hey, Senator, how are you? Nice to see you. Going on today. Leahy is bringing his normal demeanor to this, which is thoughtful, intellectual, not kind of partisan warfare and combat. Yeah. Now that's a picture, I, a photograph I took. But you come on up, take a look at the balcony. Okay. The speaker's over there, over here. Who's? Um, not every senator gets a hideaway office, right? There's like how many of them? Well, are there? when I came here, it's 50. The sunsets are spectacular. And what I'll do when we're having evening sessions, I get a little tense. I'll invite half a dozen senators, both parties, to come in at prayer hour in holy water. And one senator was asked, and he said, well, prayer hour in holy water, you know I'm Jewish. So well, we got 12-year-old holy water, we got single more holy water. <laughs> You, like almost every senator I talk to of both parties, would like it to be more bipartisan, would like, I, yes. would like the compromise, would like, and yet yeah. we both know all the dynamics. Today, well, you're hearing for the first day Gorsuch hearing, totally partisan, right? Yeah. The, the, House, the House Intelligence Committee, totally partisan. Well, I think you're going to have more and more people start thinking it, it, it can't work this way. It can't be you're, you're wrong, we're right, and that's it. One of the things I did. I was asked as dean of the Senate if I would escort Mike Pence out to the inaugural stand. There were some in Vermont who were furious. That I even, and I said, no, I'm going to. I'm dean of the Senate. He's president of the Senate. I'm doing it. But I'm also talking to a number of Republicans and Democrats. you got to start doing the same thing. you got to start reaching out.
Judge Gorsuch, very charming person. He had his lines down very, very well. But again, not, there were no answers to any real questions. Senator Schumer said Democrats are going to filibuster to stop him. I haven't talked with uh, Senator Schumer or Senator Feinstein about this. Uh, that seems and, kind of extraordinary in and of itself. <laughs> so what do you think of the fact that your leader has said filibuster? Well, it's not the, been done. He has, a, he has a right to suggest whatever he wants, but, uh, and there may well be many people who would agree with him on that. I'd want to think about that. The, uh, what's, what's the downside of it, given well, how strong the Democrats feel? Uh, the downside, of course, would be to take a nuclear option, do away with uh, 60 vote for any Supreme Court nominee. Right. I would much rather take the time to have a real debate on this. There's still a number of questions that have been given to Judge Gorsuch. I think we should have time to get those answered first. Right. Did the Gorsuch hearings go well from the point of view of the country? No, uh, because he, there are so many questions he did not answer. I mean, when you ask a, a simple question, First Amendment, freedom of religion, in effect, does that include all religions? And for him not to answer that, that's a huge mistake. Right. Can you imagine any student law school and the professor said, freedom of, of religion, does that include all, all religions? Say, well, I'm not sure of that, or I, I can't answer that. <laughs> then plunk. You're a Vermonter, you're a Democrat, you're a simple country lawyer, <laughs> as you like to say. If you're an American looking at the events this week, Russia, Gorsuch, healthcare debate, what's optimistic about how this week went? Uh, it's Cherry blossoms are out. <laughs> Cherry blossoms are out, yeah. <laughs> Finally blooming, although because of the storm. Maybe there's an analogy there. I'm not going to push for it.